Let's talk about the webcam functionality, USB-C output of the ATEM line of video switchers. I think this may be a common mistake that a lot of you churches are accidentally making that you just didn't know was happening. What I have come to realize through these tests, and I've confirmed, is that the USB-C output is changing the color space, the dynamic range of your video output. So I'll show you these results in just a second. Why does this matter? Well, you work so hard to get your cameras looking right, your stream looking great, but then you plug in a USB-C and throw it in OBS or even ProPresenter to stream up to Resi or something like that. It's very convenient that it has the webcam functionality, but is it worth it? And hey, if you clicked on this video, it's because you care about delivering a great live stream for your church. And I've got a new course that I'd love for you to check out. It's on sale right now. It's called Next Level Live Streaming on a Budget. You can grab that with the link in the description of this video or the pinned comment. It is very affordable because it's all about doing things on a budget. I think it'll save you a lot of money and give you the shortcuts and the cheat codes to level up your church's live stream. So check that out and let's level up our live streams together. So for these tests, I natively recorded to a hard drive on the ATEM Extreme and to a HyperDeck on our main setup for our ATEM Constellation HD. And then I also recorded into QuickTime with max settings. And then I brought some screenshots from that QuickTime file into Photoshop and let me show you kind of some of the color space differences. Hopefully this translates on YouTube. You may have to go into your settings, hit advanced, make it 1080p. And so let's look at the color differences of these files. All right, here we are in Photoshop. We're gonna start off with what you see is the USB recording of the ATEM Extreme. And this is the USB from a test pattern from ProPresenter 7 and then this is the hard drive recording. And so if you want to look at this grayish square on each side, you can see the USB recording loses all of that information. Just popping between the dynamic range of the USB it must just be lower. I'm not sure what the compression is doing there, but it's definitely making it more saturated and less like crushing the blacks more. So there's more dynamic range in the hard drive recording. So that's going to translate to your ethernet output, just hard encoding of the file up to um, YouTube or Facebook or Restream. So that's why I would advise against that if you can. But here's a uh, USB of just a video file. And you can even see the dynamic range, the, the blacks being crushed more. So the hard drive just retains more of that information, the actual hard encoding of the file. All right, let's uh, open up this little thing right here. And you can see when I brought in the Blackmagic device into ProPresenter, let's say I'm gonna stream from ProPresenter. Here I'm outputting the test pattern, sorry about that, to the Blackmagic device and bringing it back in 1080p 2997. And you can see similarly, it loses all of the, that information. I mean, this is pretty gray. That's not like super close to black, but it's just, it's just gone. Like, I mean, it's faintly there, but not much, right? So uh, you can see here, there's my test pattern that I'm sending. So, yeah, there's your results from the ATEM Extreme, and I've noticed this on my other ATEM Mini models that I have. Same thing. It's been reported before, but I wanted to actually test it and confirm it. All right, now let's look at the Constellation, because I was hopeful that maybe the Constellation didn't have these issues, and if you wanted to bring it into OBS or ProPresenter, that that would be a handy way to do it without having to have like a cam link adapter or something like that. So let's look at the Constellation USB test pattern and then the HyperDeck. You can see that the, the HyperDeck, again, retains more of that dynamic range. The good news is that the Constellation USB seems to retain more of that. So here's the Constellation USB. And let me just bring up the Extreme USB and you can see the difference. So it definitely retains more, but the HyperDeck has 
even more. The difference between the hyperdeck and the hard drive recording of the Atom Extreme, so here is hyperdeck straight from out of our constellation with an aux, and then here is the hard drive of the Atom Extreme. So the hyperdeck even retains more of that dynamic range. Um, so again, that's all happening over SDI from our Decklink Duo into the Constellation and then out to the Hyperdeck. So maybe that's some of it. The color space is changing a little there. But uh, you might be able to get away with the USB output of the Constellation. It, it does up your saturation a little bit more and change some things. Let me show you with um, actual footage here from our service that I played back through ProPresenter out of the Decklink into the Constellation. This is the recording on the Hyperdeck. And then look how much it crushes it when I go to the USB output. So you, you lose a lot of that information in the shadows. And these are things you wouldn't really notice if you're just doing it out of the USB. But it's you work so hard to get your cameras looking right that in the end, like let's go ahead and deliver that final thing the way that you know we we want it to be. So I hope that this was helpful. I don't have all the models to be able to test, but it's just something to think about. So if you found this video helpful, why not hit the like button and then go ahead and check out this video right here for another worship tech solution. Remember guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.